Hello everybody and welcome back to 60 Seconds. I'm your host, Agent Becky Chan. Now, where we left off last time, you know, all of her family just died. Like, either they went insane or they just, like, ran off and got themselves killed. And the reason of that was because I didn't have the flashlight. And I think you need the flashlight to alert the military to let them know that you're there and for them to save you. Which should not take very long because if that's the first thing I need to get is the flashlight. I already know what I'm going to do. Let's just jump back into it. You guys already know what's going on so without further ado without further delay let us play the game i get i'm gonna do easy this time i think i did it last time oh my god are you serious right now little boy begin oh, i hit return i think i did that last time as well but anyways let's jump into it oh boy i'm, I'm not looking forward to this but hopefully this time my mouse doesn't uh fuck up like it did last time We've got the radio. That should be the first thing we get. Little Timmy there. Food. Oh, sorry. I, I, it's all going to get broken anyways. I need to know where the flashlight is. That's like the first thing I need to get is the flashlight. Gas mask is another thing I definitely need to get. Oh, there it is. Right there. Shit, I'm right here. I gotta get that flashlight, boy. And I don't know what that is. Bullets. But for some reason, uh, he won't pick it up, but he just did. Manual, and... Just go ahead and break it all. It's going to get destroyed anyway. The horrible, horrible atomic blast that's going to happen. All right, drop all that off. Let me get my wife. And I think Timmy also takes two slots. I think, yeah, okay. This is going a lot better than it did last time. And drop you off. And get daughter. I forgot their names already. I haven't played this in a long time. So I just like immediately forgot everyone's name. Oh, come on. Not like this. Don't don't let it in like this. Uh, what's your name? Jim? Stam? Ton? Todd? Oh, no. I don't think I have enough time to get anything else. I need, the, I need the axe at least. Get it. Get it. Get the gun. Is the gun like right there? Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Don't have enough time. All right. So we got the flashlight in the looks like the survivor manual. We got a little bit of food in the gas mask. So that should at least be enough to get us past the first couple days. I hope. Oh, fuck. I didn't get the radio. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so we had bug spray, playing cards, and water already down here. Oh, no. Everyone's good on the first day. Shit. That's like, that's like necessity number one to get is the radio and then the flashlight. Everyone's fine, looks like. Like everyone can survive at least another day without food and water. So I'm going to prepare next. But we woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was watching us. We could have swore we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us is alive in the bunker. I'm going to use the axe. Fuck it. I'm taking less risks. Or more risks. I'm taking less precautionary actions and more risks. This time around. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in those nasty little holes. Everyone has to drink. So. I think. I think it's like four days without water. And like five or six days without food. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everyone uh, water. Yeah. And I'm gonna prepare Dolores. And I'm gonna give her the gas mask. Because it said like, you like the first few days are bad, so you have to have the gas mask. Otherwise they'll come back sick. So everyone's looking fine. Timmy's just staring off into the shadows in the darkness, waiting for the darkness to take him, as usual. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. One of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole. We felt pretty sick. Smell covering from the hole is terrible. Should we investigate, remove the source of the stench? Absolutely. Because I don't want no one going mad this time around. Because everyone went crazy. So it doesn't look like we lost anything. We looked in the hole uh, fearing something might come out of us with claws, fangs, or other mutated sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it and we gave it to the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. We got, we got some food. Got some food. That's good. How about the trip to Nevada we've been postponing a while now? Looks like the whole world's going to be like the Grand Canyon. You know, it's the Grand Canyon in Nevada. 
I hope it is. Yeah, that'll just look stupid. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Everyone has to drink water. So Ted is hungry and thirsty. I'm just going to give him everything. No. So everyone needs food. Everyone needs water. But Ted is hungry. All right, that's fine. A group of people dressed in green pajamas. Pajamas. Is that how you spell pajamas? I swear, I don't think I've ever seen it spelled like that. Knocking on our hatch. <laughs> Just going to resume. Knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yet, this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we could take some new friends. Should we let them in? Sure. More the merrier, more people. Just come on in. Oh, good. Oh, good. Did they steal from us? Yep. They fucking stole from us. Those merry men were not merry at all. Oh, the deception. They told us that we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things and left. We couldn't do anything to stop them. Their green clothes were just too damn hypnotizing. We lost the axe and the looks like the bug spray. Everyone is hungry. Everyone but Ted. Ted gets no food. No, too, no food for bad boys. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind the door. We peeked out in the morning. We saw a leather suitcase. It has no address. Nope. No. That's a fucking bomb. It'll go kablooey. I learned that last time. Please let God let it be a bomb. <laughs> let it be the bomb. We have no idea who left this, and nowadays you can't trust anyone. We're not risking our lives for some supplies. They could be poisoned. We shoot the gift away, and we forgot about it. Everyone is good. All right. All right. Fuck! I hope Dolores comes back with a radio. I'm not, I am going to just fuck this entire thing. This entire thing is just funny. Uh, yeah, we need... I'm going to survive one more day without water. Good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yeah, for some reason, we li like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. I'll use the Boy Scout manual. Don't know if we need it for anything, but fuck it. We're going to be here for a while. Oh, Dolores! You came back with... What did you come back with? The gas mask and a map? Good for you. We dodged a bullet this time. That is, a bullet was huge, hairy, and had eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with them again. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. The majority of the local gas station was destroyed. Gasoline. Okay, we got food, a water bottle, and a map. Wait, what does what does Mary Jane need? Okay, so everyone needs water. Everyone needs water. So go ahead and give them some water. And I think. Oh, let me go back. I think someone someone was hungry. Dolores was hungry. Yeah. So Dolores was hungry. All right. Uh, I guess, I mean, we got we just got to keep sending people out, because if we don't, then, uh, we smell bad. Oh, we don't need bullets, fuck. Shit. We don't have a fuck, we don't have a gun, we're going to use bullets, we're going to throw it at him. You know, get, like, put a little vice grip and ding it with a hammer. Does that work? Would that actually work? Dirty or not, it says smell, that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? We've got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Uh, Mary Jane is fine. Timmy is fine. Dolores is hungry. Dolores is... Of course she's hungry. Why not? She's a champ. She brought back absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm gonna send Mary Jane out with... Don't have a radio, so we don't really need the map. Uh, uh, I completely forgot that, uh, you kind of need the radio for that. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she comes back soon. Equipment. Timmy might not look like it. Timmy's doing fine. Dolores is hungry. Ted is hungry. Ted and Dolores. You guys are not just gonna feed your kid. Is your kid just gonna starve to death? Look at him. He's barely hanging on as it is. Well, y'all sitting there munching down. What we make of today will be our tomorrow. So let's make it right. Timmy should eat something. Timmy is hungry. Dolores, you've ate for the past four days. Dolores is not eating for a while. Well, maybe she fucking lay off the liposuction. Or, I don't know, some elastic band surgery. She might have, you know, keep some of the food down. She's all over there in the corner vomiting the, vomiting the shit. I can't talk today. 
Timmy should eat. Floor should eat. Ted should drink. So, drink. Eat. Eat. Yep. Need the. God! Fuck! I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. Timmy is tired. Dolores is fine. Ted is tired. So, everyone's fine. They don't need anything else. I don't know what I'm gonna do without the flashlight. If I don't have that flashlight, I'm just beyond fuck. So how do I rest people? How does how does how does people get rest then? Everyone's fine. Radio, yep. It's going, it's going to keep happening every five days. Everyone's fine. That Geiger counter is just just going crazy. That's the only music we have. So I think everyone could last. With that medkit. Yep. No one can sleep. Everyone's gonna go crazy. It's gonna be Mary Jane, the only one that's alive. Everyone's got one foot in the grave already. Yeah, everyone needs water. Shit. Uh, we try to keep track of dates, but they just don't lock up app. Luckily, Timmy remembered his birthday today. We should give him a kit, present, or a cake, or both. Give him a chessboard. Boy, and every every boy needs a chessboard. Yes! Okay, this is. Let me go and pick that up real quick. Got the mouse. The setup is really shit. So, Delo okay, Mary Jane, I love you, darling. When we were taking cover in the shelter, we barely had time to grab anything, so the checker set is missing half its pieces. It seems you can still play with one half since Simi has been enjoying himself. So, she came back with two bottles of water. We found a radio. Thank God, I don't really care about the map. You know what? This is a cause for celebration. Everyone gets to eat and drink tonight. So the telephone, I'm assuming the telephone is just another way out. It's like another way to beat the game, essentially. Like with the telephone, you have to wait a certain amount of days and then, you know, they'll come and help you. I assume, I'm like I said, I never really played this game, so I don't know, but like, the, like when I did it last time, it seemed like that was a route you could take. But right now, I think I'm doing the military route. I don't know. It's just way too dangerous to just randomly ring a telephone. Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy is fine. Dolores is fine. Ted is gone, Crit. Ted! We talked about this. We're going to get you out soon. Just relax. I think, what, what did it say? Mary Jane is hungry? Yeah. I think we could spare a little bit of the soup. The swoop. Nah. No, uh, we, we're good. Everyone, ev no one can go out. That's just the point. No one can leave. Everyone's either too tired or too fucking crazy. Ted. <sighs> yeah, no one can really, can't really spare anything. Yep. So this is the radio, and then they're going to say you have a certain amount of days to signal us with the flashlight. So we're making good progress. I think this can be saved. Or get weak signal and tapping the government's emergency system and guess what great news the fallout outside is mostly gone it is much safer that is not what i needed to know i need to know when they were coming mary jane's giant could use a little food i don't know why i need a new microphone mary jane's giant could use a little food she's thirsty no one gets food can't really you know spare the water right now oh boy I think this is still salvageable, though. I think I can still save it. Let's see here. Here's Jane Dykin's little food. Everyone's pretty good. Guess we'll get her a little food. Hopefully, the, the food... As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. Okay, so here is when... Wait. I didn't read that right. What was that? Was that the radio? Was that the... Was that, is that the military? The government has not fallen. They're coming to save us. Yes. Okay. We can still do this. This is... This is still salvageable. No. No, nothing. No one's leaving. We're staying right here. Everyone needs a bath. So I think we're fine. Drink. Drink. Everyone, everyone needs some of that drink. Ted is hungry. We'll give him some of the food. But I won't give him water just yet. 
No, 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 no. Uh, what if, what if they throw the flashlight like dumbasses? Uh, I guess I'll use the flashlight. Oh, was that a barking dog? Was that a doggo? Was that a pupper? We decided to check what's going on. What's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It's a dog! Yay! The poor thing seemed tired, so we left it to stay with us for tonight. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It doesn't return. Hopefully, it will come back. Drink. Everyone needs a drink. Everyone needs some of that drink. Papa Molly. I don't really know what I'm saying anymore. Alright. So, it looks like we're on the fast track of survival. That didn't sound good at all. Everyone's just tired. No one can leave. F pretty fatigued. Dolores is not eating. Ted is acting normally. Normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. So, hungry, hungry Timmy is. So I was trying to think of a hungry, hungry hippos pun, but I can't really think of none. The other day, we were quiet knock on the door, but we opened and found a suitcase on the doorstep. Hell no. No, I know that shit explodes. But it asked it twice. So, does it want me to do it and then let all my people get hurt? Fuck no. But nobody who left it, we're good. What Ted today was really absurd. During dinner, he suddenly jumped out of his seat and started bo boxing the gas mask hanging on the wall. Oh no. So, t oh god. Oh, oh, Ted, why? You don't do shit like that. Timmy is hungry, and so is Dolores. Military, G give me the give me the thing for the military. All right, we're running really low on food right now. All right. Oh, Ted! Oh, he's gone, boys. He's gone. He's jumped off the deep end. What? No! Oh, I don't think I can do it now. Fuck! <laughs> Um, oh god. Everyone needs water, I know. I gotta send someone out. Ted, Ted, you, you psychotic bastard, just go. Oh, good. Oh, what? When we answered the phone, what happened to all of our food and water? Oh, we'll let like. Someone's going hungry. So it looks like Ted. Yeah, we need. We need to go out. We need to go out. Nothing really else we can do right now. <laughs> we are literally on the edge right now. Ah, fucked it up. Beyond recognition! I can't. No, I can't really spare anything. Timmy? No, Timmy's kind of the only sane one here. I kind of need his men mentally. I need him to be the strong one here. So I'm going to send Ted out. Um, I'm about to send him out with a chessboard. But nah. We'll send Ted out with the Boy Scout manual. That won't bite us in the ass, will it? Probably needed that to fix the radio. But everyone has to drink sometime. Mary Jane, is there any water left? Well, this is it. We are out of food, out of water, out of hope, and out of luck. Damn it! Mary Jane's sickness got worse, and we were able to provide for her medicine. She decided it's time to cure what she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since we never liked our town to begin with. We played Ice Pie. It was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got tired of the letter W. Timmy's hungry. Timmy's also insane. Well, this episode's gone to shit. Everyone's crazy! <laughs> it's a madhouse! Dolores has rested. Good. No. I am not talking to Timmy, because I think if last time you talked to Timmy, he just goes crazy and leaves. Right? Now there's, now there's like, what, that? The cordyceps virus? Some, some of those fungal spores hanging around? Great, we're all going psychotic. How do you fuck up this bad? Oh, good. We got a couple friends here. 
Are you sure that's not my sanity dwelling down the fucking abyss? I don't really know what I'm saying anymore. I'M GOING PSYCHOTIC TOO! Good, good thing everyone's still here, hanging out. Everyone is- great. Great. Fallout Garden, we got a bunch of mushrooms glowing on the wall. Yes! Sure! What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, probably we all dying. Right? Great! Everyone's dead! One day, decomposition! We got a radio, though. We got a radio. And we got keys, and a lock, and food! No water. You know what? You just go and set the liquid from Dolores' bones, because she won't be needing it anytime soon! Oh, God! We got food, though. We got food. We got food. I think Ted, uh... I think Ted's the only one who's gonna make it out of this alive. Great! I can't, I, I can't, I can't do this. I, 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 everything I need is like... If there's not one thing I need, is like, the other thing's broken. Found a request to bring some supplies to a set location, signed friends. Soup. Why not? I have plenty of food. It's just me here, okay? It's just me. I can't do this alone. Ted is hungry. Ted is really thirsty. Well, hey, thirsty. I'm dead! Ooh, ooh, yes. I need, f I need water. I need water badly. Water in a bad way. Goody gumdrops. Should have given us a map. Should give us a map. Uh, we're going just gonna need one of everything. One of everything, please! We never felt weird, but today we had to revisit the term. We never felt weird. Oh, it seems like our little green pest guests are trying to communicate with us. You know what? Fuck it. They're dying. They're dead. Just gonna knock them out. Ted, I'm surprised you survived this long, being as clinically insane as you are. Uh, Ted's fine. Ah, that's fine! Boy Scout manual. Why not? Shit, what's the worst that could happen? Probably the boy, the man, the fucking gas mask breaking! Uh huh. A day to day to be alive, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. We're fucked! Where's water when Ted needs it? Um. Does Ted really need water, though? Does he really? Who is the we that it, that this journal keeps referring to? We're dead. Is that the, the, the people in Ted's brain just communicating with him still? Because they're not there, Ted. I'm sorry, dear. your wife died a week ago. You know what? Fuck it. If I die, I die. I don't really care at this point. Day 45. He's sick. Ted's sick. <laughs> Yay! Good! Why not? Everyone's just dead! Woo! Why not? It's beyond fucked anyways, right? Day 46. Oh, you... Yes, thank you! And then we guess Ted... Ooh, God. Dolores. <laughs> Ted. Hungry, sick, crazy, tired, and fatigued. Who would have guessed we had a secret wine cellar under our house? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. What a chance to meet a strange person today. You know what? Give him some more water. You know, shit, I have plenty. What? The stranger quickly became a friend. We agreed to his terms. Because it's that much we'll sleep easier knowing that he will come that we will come back safely from our next trip to the surface. Good. Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went in an unknown direction. Never to be seen again. We have Ted, his crew cool puppet, it took it away from us. We'll have lots of fun together. I'm fucking done. Sorry about that. I had to get that out of my, my chest a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully the next episode. Um, I'm not such a fucking idiot like I was this time. 
I got I got the radio. I got the flashlight. But not the map. The one thing you need. Life's a cool bitch. Oh god. Oh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Agent Bucky Chan. Signing off. Click these below. I'm going to go take a break from this game for a little bit. But I will come back to it. That is a promise. And I keep my promises. See you guys later. Bye.